What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Okay guys, on the free to play account again, um, this has been a very requested hot topic for me. A lot of people have been DMing me and asking me my experience in solo leveling arise as a free to play player. Now you guys know already that I run two different accounts. I run a full pay to win account and I run a full free to play account. I will do a video on a pay to win account as well too, my experience as a pay to win player and how it ma how it matters, if it matters, if you're paying how much value you get for your bang for buck, et cetera, right? We'll do all that afterwards. Now, the main thing to know, you guys can see here as a completely free to play, nothing has ever been purchased. I think there's actually a way to even check your diamond history. Uh, so we can always look at that later if you guys are curious. Here, let me, I think there's a way right here, account settings, uh, diamond owned, zero, 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 zero. Okay, so paid nothing. So. Um, Let's talk about the free to play experience. There's a lot of good and a lot and a little bit of bad. And I'm going to go over the good first so you guys understand why it's actually a good thing and then what what this game has to offer you as a free to play player and if it's free to play friendly. Now, I'm going to preface this video right from the start. My free to play account is a little bit more unique than most because I'm playing a specific uh, type of game. I'm doing a challenge account, which means I'm only allowing myself to use SR weapons and SR characters. So you guys can see here my only SSR weapon, the other one I melted, the two of them actually I melted just to show what it does. Um, I have a, a, an SSR plume sword, which is sitting at zero. Okay, uh, well, sorry, level one technically, and then everything else is, is, is SR. Okay, I'm only using SR weapons and I'm also, also only using you guys can see here, SR units, okay? Now, the reason why I'm doing this experience is because on my pay to win side, I already understand the value of SSRs. I already know what they're capable of. I already understand what they bring to the table and which ones are good, which ones are bad. Now, this experience has been very unique and very gratifying because I've now been able to also understand the core values of SR weapons and how much they bring to the table compared to SSR and also understanding the value of SR units which is incredible, okay? So this is a unique unique experience, but I'm still going to explain it to you, the good and bad from a free-to-play expense, uh, sorry, from a free-to-play experience. Sorry, guys, I'm a little, still under the weather a little bit. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the story. The story is going to take you pretty far, okay? I'm on day seven, I think, or eight of this, of this now. Uh, I have now been able to reach chapter 12 with fair ease. Um, all of my, and I only play this on stream, so this is not my main account, I only play this account on stream, so whenever you see me playing it, it's only with you guys, okay? So you guys will see the full effect of the free-to-play account. Now you guys can see here, eventually you're going to get to a roadblock as a free-to-play player. After day three, you kind of lose a pretty big part of the game as a free-to-play player, and that's the ability to use the activity funds special section, okay? It's called the special claim. And what the special claim does, it's a monthly pack that you can purchase for 10 bucks. It's called special funds, sorry. Uh, it gives you every six hours the ability to get 30%, here, right here, you can see here, obtain an additional 30% more activity and gold and experience. So this is huge. This will help you guys advance as free-to-play players a lot quicker if it was available to you. And it is, it's given to you for three days. So for three days, you wanna grind as hard as you possibly can with this buff. After the three days are gone, you lose that buff, okay? It's not unfair, and a lot of people are like, oh, this is unfair, but that's it's it's a monthly card. It's it, it makes perfect sense, right? So the moment you lose that, things will slow down, okay? So you guys can see you also lose the special funds option right here to get this, and you also lose the ability to special sweep gates, okay, which is a big one as well too. So see, you can see here daily free three special sweeps, and then daily selection draw ticket as well too. So you lose a couple different options here as a free-to-play player, so it actually does make you play the game on your own, by yourself without the options of skipping okay so first off going back to chapter mode so that's the one thing i want to talk about you are a little bit gimped from that regard okay lack of a better term now the beauty of story mode is you have a ton of resources and essence stones that you get from doing this okay essence stones are going to be your summoning crystals the main ones and every time you clear an entire chapter you get the option sorry you get the battle missions here uh, you can get two two summoning tickets, and then if you do 100%, you get another two. So every single chapter can give you a total of four summoning tickets, which is quite a bit because there are many chapters. There's 15 in total, plus many side missions here that you can go to to get experience points. So as a free-to-play player, I find that content in story mode has an abundance of it, okay? Once you hit a certain point, I think it's maybe chapter eight or nine, you also unlock story mode here. And story mode, uh, sorry, hard mode and story mode. And hard mode actually gives you double the EXP, almost double the EXP, gives you the same amount of uh, the crystals, or sorry, not crystals, the tickets that you can get. And at the same time, allows you to do more side missions, giving you the opportunity to level up quicker, okay? So from a free to play perspective, guys, just like any gotcha, there's a lot to do in story mode, but there's also patience because you will eventually hit a wall whether it's power, whether it's EXP, for example, right here, I've already met the conditions to go further in this, but if I do this fight, for example, right, you guys can see here I'm at 61K, 
and then this fight here requires you to have 81. Now, if you have the proper setup, the beauty of this game is you can you can easily outdo most of the challenging fights with the proper tools and the proper team. Uh, so don't worry about that part. A lot of it is going to be skill related uh, and some of it is going to be luck related. But the good thing about this game is a lot of skill is required. So you're gonna need to practice a lot of your dodging. You're gonna need to practice a lot of your uh, maneuvering and timing, uh, especially for weapons that are new and unique to you. Uh, and then once you get that down, sky's the limit. Seriously, it really is. You can actually conquer quite a bit as a free to play player in that regard. So I will say, from a actual gameplay perspective, it's not like it's fully paywalled. Uh, there is some paywall for sure, but at the same time, skill does play a pretty major factor, and the game is pretty good about giving you really good weapons early on for you to do fairly well. So in that regard, content-wise, it's very, very friendly, uh, and you guys can easily beat stuff as a free-to-play player if you put your mind to it and just get a little bit of luck along the way with SR weapons. And that's the thing I want to focus on, SR weapons, okay? So the good thing about this game is they make SR weapons extremely powerful, very viable, and same with characters. Characters that are SR bring so much to your team that you don't really have to worry about SSRs and getting SSRs. As a matter of fact, many of these weapons are actually better as SRs and SSR characters. So you don't need the best of the best meta to actually do well. So for in that regard, it is really, really good. Now, where the game kind of struggles in story mode is the fact that eventually the, pay the not the paywall, but the power wall gets really, really huge. And after about level 45-ish, it becomes a lot more difficult to actually level up. So that's one of the things you're gonna have to watch out for. Uh, you're gonna need to be patient, okay? And not to mention the gold rate, is absolute garbage okay gold is one of these things that if you have been playing this game you understand is the biggest crux of the game right now uh, it's where most people complain and rightfully so and it's something I hope Netmarble decides to fix so that's one of the parts that is gonna cause problem but we'll, t we'll get to that a little bit further okay let's talk a little bit more about content now another good thing in this game is free-to-play can also do instance farming fairly easily and as well as uh, gear farming fairly easily with for accessories and gear so you have quite a bit to do in regards to actual content uh, you'll never get bored of the game there's always always something to do when you log on um, and then not only that but you also battlefield of time allows you to use your abilities and your skills and put it to the test in modes where you fight certain bosses certain mobs get a top score and then at the end of the week get yourself some rewards uh, that you can use to power yourself up or give yourself more resources to get yourself things like gold etc right so in regards to that uh, the game has quite a bit to offer for you as a player um, so you'll never really get bored of things to do. So in that regard, like the content related guys, this is one of the best games I've ever played. I'm being completely dead serious about this as a free to play player even. Uh, you just, you always have something to do. Now, let's talk a little bit about the bad, okay? Um, gold, we just mentioned it a second ago. Gold is required for literally everything, okay? So you are going to need it to remove artifacts after plus five. You're gonna need it to uh, change gear. You're gonna need it to level up your characters. You're gonna need it to level up weapons. You're gonna need it to do pretty much everything. Gold is the biggest stop in this game. It's pretty much the gate, right? It's the gate stopping that, that people like to call. And they do it on purpose because they know that if they let everybody have too much gold, everyone free to play to pay to win would just rush through the game. And that's pretty much their block. There is no current level that gives you like an, uh, an instance of gold running, right? There's no way to farm gold really at the end of the day. You could, what you can do is you can go into like gates and farm those, but those require keys and those are locked after 11 and, reg and, and you have to use essence stones or buy them from the shop using your gems. So, or, or those are mining gems. So there's, there are a lot of ways to get gold, but there's just not an abundance of it. And everything costs way too much way too much even just to do the simplest thing costs so much gold right so you're always going to be behind as a free-to-play player so this is where you have to be very very like disciplined about picking and choosing the right units and the right weapons to level up and this is the reason why i create these tier lists for you guys and why i try to put these things together so people have a general sense of what is good and what is bad and they don't focus on the bad stuff because another really bad part about this is the fact that there's no reset yet there's no way to reset a character's um, levels get all your resources back none of that exists same with weapons none of that exists okay so that's one of the bad things about the game that definitely uh, needs to be fixed and i'm hoping they address it now another really good thing about the game is combat i have never played a game and i thought i thought one punch man had incredible combat then i played this game and after playing this game i have to say this is the most complex satisfying combat system i've ever played in a mobile game and it rightfully so deserves that that title and accolade because i think they've done such an amazing job with this that i i i have a hard time even going back to any game now without you know without this kind of play style so i have to give them netmarble complete credit and the devs who created this 
uh, you guys have done a majestic job in putting together probably one of the most uh, unique and satisfying ARPG experiences I've ever played. Now, I know Wuthering Waves is coming out, and a lot of people are comparing that to becoming the best, you know, action RPG game. But, you know, if, if, it ha if it's anything like this, I'm very much looking forward to it because this game is setting the bar very, very high. So for those who are looking forward to a good ARPG, look no further. I think this game will satisfy you in ways that you have not had before as an experience from mobile games. Uh, and I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised, guys, with how much this game has to offer from a good combat experience. Okay, so combat, incredible. Uh, are there any problems with combat? Um, quite honestly, I can't really think of too much problems. I think some of the issues going to stem around um, the rates instead. People have issues with pulling units, which for free-to-play players, I will say, is a little bit difficult. Um, they, the rates are fairly low. You can, of course, get lucky just like any other gacha in the world. But for the most part, the rates are kind of kind of slim for majority of players. And I will admit, as a free-to-play player, even with SR weapons, uh, they're really hard to get. Like, super, super hard. There's more. I think I have a harder time getting SR weapons than I do... Um, that I do SSRs. So it, it's it's crazy to say that, but that's the truth. And that, I mean, that's not a bad thing necessarily, but they should definitely increase the rates, I think, for some of these things, um, just to give, you know, a, a better experience for a lot of folks to be able to try some new weapons out, etc. right? So I think that that's one thing that they definitely need to work on. Sorry, guys, I'm talking while, fi while fighting. It's, it's a little bit difficult. Now, main character. This is, I think, one of the best things. They actually made Sung Jin Woo the best character in the game, which is very difficult to do in any gacha, right? So for free-to-play players, your main character that you're going to be using is in fact going to be the best character in the game, period. And the good thing is you get to use your hunters uh, with him or you get to use your hunters without him. So you have a good experience and unique experience in that regard where you can actually play with your, your hunters or you can play with him depending on the stage. And both ways you get the full experience of you know, Sung Jin Woo or your hunters uh, with their support. So it's, I think in that regard, it's really cool. And again, like I said, for free to play players, the beauty is the SR units are so damn good that you really don't need the SSR units to put a dent into the game. All right. So that's another thing too. Um, when it comes down to actual resources, I don't think it's that bad. I know a lot of people complain about uh, experience points and stuff, but again, I think being a free to play player, you understand you're kind of gonna, you're gonna have to be a little bit more patient. So I think resources, they give quite a bit. But where they kind of do screw you over are artifacts. Artifacts are going to be your weapons and gears. So you only get a limited amount of keys per day. And those keys are then uh, refreshable either by using essence stones or purchasing them from the mine shop, which is uh, something you'll do along with gates. You can go ahead and mine gates and stuff and get, get resources there or specific mine things. And those are very, very hard to get and they're not that... They're not that prevalent in, in the game for free-to-play players, so you won't see them very often. Now, with that being said, though, um, drop rates aren't bad for good gear. Like, the problem is, of course, the substats. Substats in, in are, are like any other gear-grinding game are hard to obtain. So when you get a, you know, a bad substat, your gear is useless and your key kind of is, is just wasted, right? So that they need to, I think, fix a little bit better. Give us options to, like, re-roll some substats at least once or twice. I think that's a, that's a, that's a very popular thing nowadays uh, for a lot of gotchas. And I think they should definitely follow suit on that. Um, and I think that will actually do them justice. So that's something I'm hoping they implement in the future. But right now, it is really, really hard with keys. Not to mention, the moment you do get an artifact, and if there is something you do like and you get it to, to plus five, which does take a lot of gold... Uh, and if you don't like it, you actually have to pay gold to remove it. So that's something they have to have to fix. Like, there should be no reason for us. I mean, it, it exists in other games. It's very common in other games, but it doesn't mean they have to follow that, right? So that's something I really hope they do fix for free-to-play players because it's really, really hard, tough with the way gold is structured right now to even take advantage of anything uh, artifact-related without spending too much gold and going broke. And that's another thing that I want to talk about. Uh, going back to gold, right? It's really, really d tough to level up characters because you lack so much gold, right? And with the lack of gold and the lack of farming of gold, you guys can kind of see that's becoming the prevalent issue. Uh, a lot of your characters are going to sit there and collect dust. And even the main characters are going to be sitting back and not doing anything for quite some time because you will be running out of currency to get them even leveled up. So uh, that's something you guys should really, really note. When you are starting this game off as a free-to-play player, you will have to be very diligent and, again, disciplined about what you spend and how you spend it with gold because it does take quite a bit of it to level up. All right, guys, I think that covers it. Overall, having a great time with this experience. I suck when I talk and play. I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys, I'm dying here and I shouldn't be. Um, but I'm telling you now, this is a, 
I, I consider this to be overall a free to play friendly game. I do. Um, because a lot of your skill will come into play, a lot of a little bit of luck is required. Uh, it does require patience, but most games that are free to play required or free to play friendly okay. are going to require you to be patient. That's a very normal thing. And I think a lot of people understand that if you were a gotcha player specifically, that this is not a triple A console game or PC game. This is a gotcha. They're out to make money off of you. But it, you can defeat the system if you're just patient and you put a little bit of skill and time into it. And this game allows you to do that in, in spades. So you'll have a plenty, plenty of time and plenty of space in order to take advantage of the systems and be a good player by being free to play and stay free to play friendly. Okay, so there you guys have my review on it, guys. It's free to play. I'm very, very happy with this game. Um, I cannot wait for it to go global because I think this game is incredible for what it does. I think it's a very unique and special experience, and I think people should definitely give this a try. Free to play or pay to win, it doesn't matter. Now, I will cover the pay to win aspect of things as well, too, in a different video. I think a lot of people have been asking me on that as well, if it's worth it. Uh, I will give you guys my full thoughts on it and how the pay to win works and whether it's worthwhile being pay to win or if you should stay free to play. All right, guys, the pain. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.